there. So we are continuing to um, talk about measurement. And in this video, we're talking about weight. So here are the things you're gonna need from your kit. You're gonna need your catapult. If you have not made your catapult, that's something from my first video um, on length and width. So you can make the catapult. You're gonna need your money kit of plastic coins. You're gonna need one of these puff balls that was in your sensory kit. You're gonna need some Play-Doh, two cups, feathers, glass blobs. You're gonna need a scale if you have one, um, a small book and a big book. And then if you have two um, measuring cups, we're gonna have one cup of cereal, like a dry cereal, and then one cup of rice, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have them, you're gonna say, which, which do you think is more, has, is heavier, 10 feathers or 10 glass blobs? So you're gonna help them put the 10 feathers in here and the 10 glass blobs in here, and they're going to predict which one's gonna be lightest and heaviest. And they're gonna lift it up and they're gonna be able to tell that the glass blobs are heavier. So then what you're gonna do is you're going to mix the cups around. You're going to have them close their eyes and they're going to have to feel in order to tell you if it's the glass blobs or the feathers. So they're gonna close their eyes which one's heavier? The glass blobs, okay. So we're talking about um, some other concepts now. If it's bigger, does that mean it's heavier? So you're gonna have your puff ball and you're just gonna get a smaller thing of either the modeling clay from your sensory kit or Play-Doh and they're going to be measuring, feeling that for which one's heavier. The Play-Doh is smaller, but it is heavier. You can talk a little bit about how something seems solid, but that it has more air inside. You can press it and you can comp com compact it. This one you can't press in anymore. There's, not, there's no air in this one, but there's air in this one. So this one is bigger, but it's not as heavy as the clay. You can also do a, um, a warm-up exercise where you have two different ball, balls of Play-Doh and you're gonna have them predict which one's heavier, again, just to starting to get the whole concept of what's heavy, what's lighter, what's heavier, what's lighter. So you can have them close their eyes, you can put them, them in their hand and they have to feel for which one is heavier and lighter, okay? So um, another thing you can do is if you have a couple um, measuring cups, you, or you can do this. You can also just measure out, you can measure out two cups of cereal. So find a nice light dry cereal. So they're going to decide which is heavier, the cereal or the rice. Now, the rice is much heavier and they're gonna be able to feel that. But why, if they're both two cups, why is one heavier than the other? You can talk again about the air in between the cereal pieces and how there's not nearly as much air in between the rice pieces. So they're all they're going to be checking this out in terms of it being the same amount, but one's heavier and one's lighter. Okay. So another thing that they can do is get you get a couple books one smaller one and one bigger. And these are always great things to do where you have them hold out their hand 
You put one book on one hand and one on the other. Which one is heavier? Why is one of them heavier? Why is one book heavier than the other? Well, this book is a hard, it's a hard copy book, and this is a paper book. And you can talk about how the, the cover is heavier. You can look at the amount of pages in a book. How fat is it? Maybe it has more pages. And the book itself is bigger. So those are the things that you can tell why one book, smaller book, is heavier than a bigger book, okay? Now, if you have a scale at home where you weigh yourself, you are going to have your student weigh themselves first and you're gonna write down the number of pounds that your child is. And then you're all, then the next thing you can do is you're gonna get a big pile of heavy books and you're gonna have them hold as many as they can and then they're gonna weigh themselves again. And then you're gonna see how much you weigh with the, all that extra weight. And so what's happening with that is you're gonna write down the difference, you're gonna write down that weight. And this is another wonderful subtraction problem. They probably won't be able to do the computation of it, but you can figure out how much that extra weight is by, by doing the two different weights, one without holding the books and one with holding the books. And you can, you can help them to understand that the difference is the, is the amount of these books, okay? So, another thing you can do with your measuring cup, measuring cup, is you can see, try some other things. Like, I'm gonna put a, a cup of these plastic, this plastic money in here. That's a little too much, but I'm gonna put a cup of the plastic money in here in this one, and I'm gonna put a cup of the glass blobs, and they're gonna predict which one do you think is heavier? A cup of the glass blobs or a cup of the, you know what, I only have a half a cup of that, so whatever amount you have of those glass blobs, you're gonna make that same amount here, and they're going to predict which one do they think is gonna be heavier, a cup, a half cup of glass blobs, or a half cup of the plastic. And when they do their weighing, they will see that this is heavier. And then you can talk more about different, different substances and how much heavier certain things are. Glass, is heavier than plastic, okay? So you can also just take a little handful of the coins, take a little handful of the glass blobs, and you can feel the difference, okay? Now, with your catapult, you're gonna try an experiment or two with that. So you have your cotton ball, okay? We're gonna see how Remember how we use the catapult again. You put your finger on this end here. You put the cotton ball down and see how high it went. Now, if you put something heavier in the catapult, like a glass blob, let's see how that works. Oh, look at that. It took, it did not go nearly as high as the cotton ball. It did not go nearly as high. The glass blob went much lower. And so you can talk about why they think that is happening. So with the cotton ball, you have less weight to project upwards. And with the glass blob, you have a lot more weight. So gravity is making it harder for the heavier one to go up high, right? You can also try it with a little plastic coin. That one went way up higher. So you can try different things. You could use a piece of Cheerios. Whoa, 
whoa, now that one almost touched the ceiling. So you can have fun trying different um, objects with your catapult and you can talk about how the things that are heavier don't go up as high as the things that are lighter. So you can try it. You can try a plastic coin and you could try a real coin, which is gonna be heavier because it's metal. Plastic is heavier than metal. So that's another, another comparison they can make. You can do plastic and glass. You could do plastic and metal. So um, all these different ways that you can use the catapult to talk about weight, okay? So have a good time with these activities and we will see you next time.